Hi, Renna. My name is Erin, and I want to talk to you about being different today. So I feel like everyone has, at some point in their life, experienced in some way what it was like to feel a part of something, a part of the world and people, but to also feel kind of separate from it, a little bit outside of it. Everyone has something that has made them, at some point, feel different or separate from other people in some way. Something that's made life a little bit trickier or feel more isolated. It's, I think it's a very common human experience. So how am I different? Well, I was born with a um, skeletal disorder called radial club hands, which means, um, hello, <laughs> that uh, my forearms were uh, shorter than, are shorter than average. And that is because the radius bone in the forearm, which gives it its length and also connects to our thumbs, for me, um, my radius bone was missing in both arms, so I'm very symmetrical. Um, but my arms are shorter, so I mean, I don't know if you can see here. Mm -hmm. So um, that's how I'm different. Uh, a little bit more about that. Um, my mom was very, very tiny, um, she had identical twins, um, and my sister and I were born about a month premature, and, uh, I was born without radius bones. Um, basically the doctors were like, you're too small to have twins, and you kind of ran out of room. <laughs> so, um, my sister was not born with any physical abnormality or difference, uh, her hands are average, normal, but mine were smaller, and I was born without thumbs, so when I was born, I had about 12 surgeries, um, with amazing hand surgeons, um, truly just incredible. They took my uh, pointer fingers and moved them down to give me thumbs on both hands, so it's just my right hand. Because the other hand is holding the camera like a selfie, very stupid. Um, so, see my, my forearm is shorter than average, it's because of the radius bone being missing. Um, and you see that I only have three fingers, it's because um, my index, my pointer finger was turned into my thumb, which is cool. And also why I call myself the cute little T-Rex is because my arms are short and I think I'm pretty awesome and cute. Um, clearly I have sort of a perhaps healthy, unhealthy sense of ego. A little bit of an egomaniac. Um, but I balance it out with a lot of negativity. <laughs> okay, so that's how I'm different. Um, identical twin, uh, raised with my sister, she's pretty much my favorite person in the world, um, but it was a little weird because um, sometimes I felt like I was living in a controlled experiment just because we are so similar and we look so much alike except for our arms. So um, that's my story, shortened, um, abbreviated. Um, this is an IMA, so obviously you are invited to ask me anything that you want. Um, I've never had any trouble with my hands. I love to draw. I, I identify as an artist. I love to paint. So I embroider. I like to write. Um, love to cook and garden and use my hands. I've recently taken up juggling. I don't really feel like there's anything I can't do. Um, I can't give a thumbs up or a thumbs down. That doesn't really bother me, except that sometimes I want to feel like a Roman emperor and just give like a stern thumbs down if I don't like something, or you know, a thumbs up if it's good. Um, can't hitchhike. It's a problem. My life might have been very different if I was able to just hitchhike around the world. Maybe had a bit of a more misspent youth. Probably not though, but I was probably a pretty good kid. Um, yeah, I love my hands, but um, my life has been different because of them. My experience has been a little bit removed and separate from other people's. Um, 
you know, I went through a period of time when I was a teenager where I was like, no one can know what I'm going through and no one understands and no one ever will. And I kind of got angry and what teenager doesn't kind of go through something like that though. Um, but what I've realized since then, everyone has their feeling. Everyone has something that makes them feel separate from other people and feel like no one's going to understand them or understand what they're going through and make them feel a little bit lonely. Um, that is a normal part of the human experience. Uh, I'm no different. But my thing might be more visible than other people's. Um, but ours is so fortunate in a lot of ways too, so that's what I think. Um, I think it's tempting to say uh, to myself I've had a harder time than other people, but I don't I honestly don't think that's true. You know, I mean life is hard for everybody. And I think it should be. I like that it's hard. I think it would be really boring if it wasn't hard. A little bit hard. And I think it wouldn't mean as much. So that's where I stand. Um, this is an IMA, so again, feel free to ask questions. There are no stupid questions. I will make fun of you for some of them, but that's just because I'm mean. Um, also, I'm pretty... I'm not easily offended. I have a engorged ego already, so um, don't worry about that. Um, and tell me in what way you feel different or separate. What is uh, your radio club hands? What makes you feel separate from other people or, or lonely? I would love to hear about it. Um, all right. Hope everyone's having a good day. Um, did, oh, I should show you my other arm. I swear it exists. And um, symmetrical. There we go. Um, bye. <laughs>